Isn't that just gorgeous? So many beautiful rocks. That's a nice thing to find on my way out. Hi, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. This is Kate from Katie Did, and today we are going to look at some Labradorite and see if we can figure out how to cut it so it has that wonderful Labrador essence, which is this shiny, shiny stuff that you see in the rock. Come along. This is one of the larger pieces that I have, that I bought from the Richardson Rock Ranch in Oregon. And I have been kind of putting off cutting it just because I'm not really sure what I'm doing. However, my big saw is currently undergoing repairs. And so I'm going to try to cut this bad boy on the little saw, on the trim saw. I may have Jim break it in half with a hammer first. One thing I learned about this stone from research is that this, this beautiful shininess that looks like butterfly wings is very directional. You can see here, it doesn't look like anything at all. And then you turn it over and all of a sudden you've got this beautiful, beautiful glow. I'm going to try cutting just a, a chunk off of the end here because that'll fit in my trim saw. And then we can play with it to see what kind of what kind of directions we need to cut the whole thing. So this is the end of it here. And then if you turn it over, you can see there is some, ooh, it's not the right angle, there it is. Some chatoyance here, the chatoyance is, is uh, shiny, shiny. And this one is actually called Labrador Essence, uh, because of course this is Labrador, right? And I'm going to try cutting, like, maybe along here, and see if we can get that all the way across. making progress here as far as figuring out what the, the angles to cut. Let's try again and cut a big slab out of that same one. Take a look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's interesting it's got this kind of black stuff in it as well. This is the side that was the first cut, and this is what we got. Oh, that is so beautiful. I think we'll have to make another one. All right, this one's still pretty shiny but I took I got a slightly slightly different angle here and it ended up just kind of losing that shininess on this side so what if I try to do something with it I'm going to use this side and then hopefully I will have captured this gorgeous gorgeous call that looks like a butterfly wing Next, I'm going to try some slices of this that are just kind of different directions so that we can see really how this stuff works. And hopefully we'll learn something before we go on and make something of it. This is a great example of how the chatoyance doesn't actually uh, doesn't actually go all the way through in every direction. You can see there's a little bit here, but then if you look at this side, it is just plain old brown rock. And here's there's some kind of blue sparkly things. Let's try a different direction. Okay, this is the cut we just made. This is the back of the rock where there's a little bit of a cut and this is the front of the rock. You can see that the 
the blue stuff shows up this way and not at all this way. So I'm going to try one more cut, this time this way, to see if if we cut it this, cut it, well, I guess horizontally this way, right? It See if it shows up this blue, because that'll, that'll tell us a little bit about how best to cut this kind of stuff. It's an absolute victory. Both sides, beautifully, beautifully labradorescent. You can see here, nothing. Well, that's a definitely good information. Labradorite is named Labradorite because it's found in Labrador, Canada. It's also found in lots of different places, including the United States. And I think this one might be from Madagascar. Let's see if we can make something pretty. Get out the heart template, perfect for Valentine's Day. For anybody concerned about my fingers, don't be. These diamond saws actually are fairly dull and you'd have to work really hard to cut yourself. Next, we're gonna take this to the diamond wheels. There are six of these. Right now, what I'm doing is trying to shape this so that it has a dome. You don't want any flat spots. I've been doing a little research, and the thing that makes Labradorite have that beautiful shiller is something called Exolution Lamellae. And that's a, that's a fancy word for something that is in a solution, and then that solution unmixes into two solid phases, or layers. Hearts are notoriously difficult to do on the wheel. It takes a lot more uh, practice and skill than I currently have. So I'm using my diamond bit here to try to grind down the center of it. And then I have some sandpaper that I'm going to try to smooth it out with. This is something that uh, takes a lot of practice. If you don't get a good dome and you have a flat spot on the top, then it won't polish properly. It'll be just scratches. Labradorite is a little bit weird though, because if you have it at too steep of an angle, you're gonna lose the shine. It's important to dry off the cab you're working on and look at it under bright light. Here I can see I've got a flat spot right in the middle. Gotta fix that. But wow, is this going to be pretty. The wheels on the right side of the Cab King are polishing stones. So what I'm doing right now is giving it some extra fine shine. And you go from left to right, and each of the grits is progressively finer and finer until you get a glass-like finish. If you did it right. Now that I've got the basic shape, Jim's gonna help me out and kind of make it mm, better. <laughs> I'm still learning. It's a learning process. Anyway, let's take a look and see what he's doing. Thanks for joining me. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed yourself.
This is Kate from Katie Did. Keep on doing. This is Kate from Katie Did. Ah, what's happening?